this the place? Absolutely. I remember this tree. There's 50 trillion trees around here. And you remember this particular one? The way it grows out of the rock. Unless you want to, I'll jump first. I've seen a hundred trees growing out of rock. No, I remember this curve in the lower trunk. How the northwest wind must have forced it to grow crooked. Heliotropism. Grows towards the southern exposure. That's east. Can't be east. There's the last light. That's west. So this must be south. You're right. I must have gotten turned around by the train. And I'm not an outdoor guy. Then you toss the packs over to me. Ready? Almost. A pebble? Boots. Too big. Told you I should have gotten a size smaller. Not with <coughs> hiking socks. Are those cotton? Yeah. What happened to the wool socks? Wool irritates my skin. Makes my feet sweat. <laughs> wool brings moisture away. Cotton holds it in. Cold feet, your feet. You're just full of those mountaineer settings. Ready? Are you sure this is the spot? Positive. I wish I could see what's over there. I've been hiking this trail half my life. You get a cold northwester on a July day. That fog pours off the snow like smoke. Since we stopped here, it's dropped another six degrees. We really need to move on. Let's go. Are you okay about it? I wish I felt better about it. You're not 100%? I know I can jump the five feet across. <coughs> Did it this morning. But? It's just... Damn fog. Yeah, I wish I could see what's over there. Scientific method. Observe. I'm going to throw this stone. QED, okay? No. You heard the stone hit the ledge? I heard stone hit stone. Whether it's the ledge, I have no idea. What else could it be? I don't know, and neither do you. Okay, listen to the stone. Hey, you can throw stones over all day, but there's no way I'm jumping where I can't see. First of all, we don't have all day. If we don't jump now, that lizard's gonna catch up to us. I still don't think this is the spot we jumped over this morning. Why did you pick this day? Didn't you listen to a weather report? Look, Mount Rainier... I mean, a meteorologist could have seen this storm coming. Rainier makes its own weather. It's unpredictable. Even after we jump, we still have another six or seven thousand feet to descend. We really need to move on. Need a break. We need to keep ahead of the storm. My sugar's low. Minister, we need I feel weak. I need energy to jump. Then why don't you try this? Trailman? I think I'll stay with the potato chips. All that salt's only gonna make you thirsty. <laughs> which will make you urinate more? Which will bridge you with more electrolytes? Which will make you tired? Excuse me for being human. You must have stopped half a dozen times. So who's counting? Takes a toll, that's all I'm saying. <clears throat> times like these when the discipline pays off. It's times like these? I don't need a discipline on health. Sorry. No big deal. Actually, never mind. What? Wanna take a few practice starts? Kinda sneak up on it? <coughs> Come on, let's stretch. My legs are fine. It's my brain. If I jumped, would that convince you? It would convince me you're out of your mind. What if I jumped and landed safely? And what if you're wrong? How could I be wrong? Nobody moved the mountain. You're so cocksure. You won't even consider the possibility that you might be mistaken. We did it this morning. We can do it again. And what if you fall to your death? Or worse. What could be worse? You fall down into that chasm with a broken back. You're in terrible pain. And I'm up here, unable to help. I'm prepared for that. Who could possibly be prepared for that? I know anything can happen up here. Rock slide, avalanche, run across a grizzly and her cubs. Just stumble and fall. Worst things can happen in Seattle. Would you dash across the street if you were blind? It's not the same thing. You're right. A blind person knows there's the other side of the street. Knows the ride with the car brakes. Your fear is talking. Where I come from, they call it smarts. This is a hell of a first date. Then after I jump, you toss the packs over to me. Just remember to toss them high. Better to overshoot. Know where I jump from. Let this be your marker. Jump off of that marker. Give yourself enough running space. Measure it out a few times. And remember, jump high. Only problem is you're going to kind of come in for a crash landing because you're not going to see how to break your fall. Okay? Unbelievable. <laughs> what? You're actually going to run and leap into the fog without knowing what's over there? I know what's over there. You don't know. You believe. You hope. You wish. You pray. You don't know the difference between what you know and what you hope. You, you heard the stone hit the ledge. 
Stone hits stone, period. That's a typical you-ism. You hope the ledge is over there, so the ledge is there. No, there's rock there. It may be flat, it may be round, it may be vertical, it may be horizontal. It's not a fact just because you say it is. It's only a fact.